Uh, yes. Okay. Mike has a theory about updates, and that's why he doesn't like doing updates. Because I don't like doing anything because like, it always yeah. messes up my computer. It breaks more than it fixes. It does. <laughs> Do you want to update Dude. this? No, I don't want to update this. <laughs> I know. It's working just fine the way it is. If it was up to me, I'd still be using Windows 3.1. <laughs> with with dial-up. With dial-up. Let's get started. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Controller Throwers podcast. This is podcast episode number 95 for Tuesday, March 19th, 2019. What up, everybody? I am Mike. With me, as always, is Mr. Kurt. Hello. And Mr. Brian. Hello. And Miss Sherry. Hi, guys. (laughs) How are we all doing today? (laughs) Fantastic, actually. Yeah. I'm actually doing pretty good. I had a day off, you know, relaxing, got the Hawaiian shirt on. I know. <laughs> tropical because, uh, you know, it's like nice it's outside. 50. I know. Yeah. It's like 46 like degrees warm day today. Like... That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, you know, I'm uh, I'm feeling refreshed. My spring air coming in. Cleaned a little bit of the house. There you go. All right. And then well, Mike came in and brought me down. That's right. Yeah, I came in on <laughs> activity and put everybody in a foul mood. Well, all let's right. let's hope let's hope something like this story here will put us all in a good mood. It better because it has been almost a decade <laughs> since the last Left for Dead game was released. Wow! And we we fans have all but given up hope on seeing a Left for Dead sequel. Sure, we've got Evolve, but that game turned out to be an utter waste of time. Well, it seems the fate has smiled upon us yet again, as a spiritual successor to Left 4 Dead is on the way, called Back for Blood. Mm. Warner Brothers Interactive announced the title, and Turtle Rock, the same studio behind the original Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2, are back at the helm. The upcoming game will not take place in the Left 4 Dead universe, but it will be a whole new experience while retaining what made the original the original series so popular. Turtle Rock co-founder Phil Robb said in a post, Back 4 Dead is designed from the ground up as an original premium title that marries the best of what made co-op zombie shooter so successful with new features and state-of-the-art technology. We want to take we want to take all we've learned and push forward. We've grown as a team considerably because we're stepping into a bigger challenge in the studio's history, into the biggest challenge of the studio's history. We know this title has to stand out, and we are we fully intend to make that happen. We currently have no other details on Back for Blood. The developers said. They're currently looking into releasing on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC for its release. More possibilities are out there, but there are still questions. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. So, as as w- when Mike texted me the story, I, I texted him back and just said, please, 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 please. Because Left 4 Dead was one of the most fun fun games I had ever playing co-op. It is really the only time I actually enjoyed playing co-op with strangers. Even the ones that were, where you'd have, you know, you'd have the four of you, and the one would run way ahead and, and start <laughs> shooting and fighting at everybody, and the three of us would just come casually sauntering down and catching up, and he's half dead or, or, or died five or six times, and we're just getting there. Okay, now we'll start fighting. But still, <laughs> those games were so much fun. Mike, agree? I'd never heard of this game before in my life. <laughs> You're you, a jerk. You knew that was coming. <laughs> You're a jerk. Yes. As soon as you ask Mike anything, he's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's good. 
No, it's it's I love. Oh man, Left for Dead. That was I I can't. We, we uh, you know what? I should probably pull up my old uh, 360 and see how many hours I put into it. I don't know. Does it even give you the playtime? Either way, it's uh it's a ton. I I put in a ton of time into Left mm. for Dead playing with Brian. And the funny thing is, the entire game there were only four stages. <laughs> only four. Are there really? And we just yeah, we just kept so, playing because... the same stages over and over. Hmm. Because when we played Left for Dead as like a group, there we were all the way at the end. We never, we just, <laughs> we, just we just died. Rage quit. <laughs> yeah. Like we were at the very last boss and we we just couldn't beat it. We're like, all right, we're done. We we're just died and then we were like, oh, let's go to bed. Because <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're old. <laughs> we're old. Yeah. Talk to yourself. Even with the help I of am. computer-controlled Lewis, we still couldn't. Uh... You know. Dude, that guy was like the Not pill it, dispenser. No. He had pills aplenty for us. <laughs> he did. He did. pills, yep. Yep. He saved our butts so many times. Yes. And even playing true. even playing four on four, is we, we had an absolute ton of fun doing that. Because, you know, in the four on four, that, you know, four people play as the humans and four people play as uh, respawning special zombies. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I don't know if it's exactly like left for dead. I I'm fine with it being set, you know, being in a new setting and being all new characters because we're getting something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As long as it's similar, as long as it's, 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 they keep it, they keep the same vibe as left for dead. That's, that's completely fine with me. And as long I just, to- I, I don't want them to go, Battle Royale mode. I don't want them to go microtransaction mode. I don't want them to go anything that any other game has had because the simplicity of Left 4 Dead made it so great. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there was four people, minimal weapons. I don't think, could you even find new weapons in that game? Yeah. Okay. I don't remember that, but I I remember you having like, like one gun and a handgun. And that was it. Handgun, shotgun, Uzi. Could you carry all of them at the same time? No, I think you could only carry one, one and, the, and, and the handgun. Right, one and the handgun. Which and and I, was wasn't there a limited ammo for at least the, the pistol? Yep. And so it, it was simplicity at its best. I mean, you mm-hmm. don't you didn't need you didn't need an awful lot. You, you didn't need as much. You didn't need anything in the game. They, they, they exactly how they did it is exactly how it needed to be done. Right. And and. Here's where I'm hoping it's going to be good, and here's why I'm thinking why it might. They so Turtle Rock released Evolve, which was supposed to be just like Left 4 Dead, but set like on an alien planet, kind of like Left 4 Dead meets um, Predator. Hmm. Um. If and, and it it bombed. Part of the reason it bombed was because of microtransactions. It turned out to be a pay-to-win type game, and they got a ton of garbage for it. So but I'm isn't hoping... every game nowadays a microtransaction? Microtransactions are more leaning towards cosmetic as opposed to buffs in games because they're seeing the kind of feedback that people are getting on games like Battlefront 2, which like just got a ton of heat. Um, yeah. And um, and like Evolve, where it's like you're paying extra just to win the game. But, you know, with the success of Fortnite and um, Apex and PUBG and PUBG, it's they're saying that these microtransactions are changing from game enhancing transactions to cosmetic uh, changes, which, yeah, but which I'm OK even, with. I, yeah, yeah, because it doesn't but affect even the with um, car soccer, didn't they have buffs? Two for microtransactions, or was that only cosmetic? That's only cosmetic. Which, by the way, Car Soccer just released today uh, MLB pack, so I might be uh, I might be buying a. Uh, going back <laughs> you into might be it. microtransactioning. I might be microtransactioning. Yeah. All as right. Long as, as long as the White Sox get some of that money, so they can get some good players, then they I'm won't. on board. <laughs> Even if they got the money, they won't get good players. No. Pew pew. Okay, so now if I I think we're all in on this game, the hard part for us would be which platform do we buy it for? <laughs> and actually, 
to that, I have an even better question. Uh oh. The quote on here at the very end of Brian's news story, they said it's coming out for PS4, Xbox One, and PC with more possibilities aren't out of the question. So will this be a launch game for the next Xbox and the PS5? And if that's the case, would that cause you to buy the system at launch? Is that a killer app that will make you say, yes, I will buy this new system? I don't think there's any game out there that will make me buy a brand new system at launch. You got a new system for Knack. No, I got a new system because it was free. <laughs> <laughs> I got a, still got it for I now. got a new system because I ate a taco, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best reason ever. That is. Yeah. Um, so what'd you think, though? Because there are certain systems that I would buy day one. I bought the Switch day one because of so Legend we of Zelda. Did the Switch, we did the Switch day one. Yeah. Not the, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, we did the Wii day one. Us, yeah. Us three did it. Yeah. I don't know. When, when did they say it was going to be released? It's supposed to be released in 2019. So, Which the is reality it. is, it, they might be looking into the Switch. Uh, well, It's possible. I don't think they've released anything on the Switch, though. But it is Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers is publishing it, so they've got the money to say, hey, put this on the Switch as well. I don't think I'd get it for the Switch, though. I'd rather get it on the PS4 because my PS4 is hardwired into my internet. In a game like that, we were playing co-op with other people. I don't, I don't take any chances with Wi-Fi. No, I don't remember having much and issues more, with that, but yeah, I, I would agree with that. And the thing with more possibilities aren't out of the question. I mean, it it might go cross-platform. They're going to release so, it. Go ahead. So it won't matter like who has what system. Oh, no, cross-play compatibility. It, 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 until, until Sony decides that we're not going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, but Sony's kind of releasing a little bit of its constraints. I mean, not, like, greatly, but... You yeah. talk, you're talk. you talking baby steps, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, they, they, they took one belt notch off, you know, and yeah. kind of just loosened yeah, right. it up just a little <laughs> bit. <you know? laughs> well, at the, at the very least... We'll get the uh, Tiger Electronics handheld version of the game. <laughs> there yes. you go. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, here's two. Sorry, I, had a, what the? I lost my place. <laughs> well, here's a couple rumors to help get the old hypometer moving. Back in 2008, we were blessed with a little indie game called Castle Crashers. This amazing beat-em-up was developed and published by the behemoth for Xbox Live, Arcade, PSN, and PC Mac. Additionally, a remastered version was released for Xbox One in 2015, but we never heard of it again. That is, until a couple of days ago when the behemoth posted a few pictures on Twitter. The picture showed a drawing of four Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons in the colors of Castle Crashers Four Nights. A few days later, they released a similarly styled picture of four PS4 controllers glowing with the same colors. No other info has been given, so let's hope for some news soon. Ah. (laughs) We also got a new rating from the Australian government's Department of Communications and the Arts that suggests that a new Castlevania collection may be coming out. The title of the game is Castlevania Anniversary Collection, was filed March 12th, and the only info we got was the game will be multi-platform and contains mild violence, fantasy themes, and very mild nudity. Ooh. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Yeah. You like. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm excited for Castle Crashers. I mean, that's something that Mike uh, gifted us, and we never finished. And I'm really sad it. that we haven't because it was so much fun. It was it was like a throwback to like the old, you know, four player uh, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the Nintendo or something, you know. And it was we had a lot of fun playing that game. We need to finish that for yeah. sure. Yeah. I hope to get something new though out of this. I hope yeah. it's just not like a remake. I hope it's a whole new thing. What if it's a full blown sequel? That's that would be awesome. That would be cool. Streets of Rage with Swords. That's right, Playpod. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Uh, And I'm interested to see what the Castlevania collection possibly could be. 
Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, you know, the, the first three. I, obviously, you won't have Symphony of the Night, you know, um, because Symphony of the Night just came out on the PlayStation 4 with Rondo of Blood, I think. But what if it was, like, for the came out for the Switch? Well, it is multi-platform, but what if it was, like, all the Game Boy Advance um, Castlevania oh. games, which are amazing games? Yeah. Um, but, hey, anyway, more Castlevania works for me. That would be <laughs> nice to have them all, you know, on one you know, on one yeah. game. That would be amazing. Mm-hmm. Because someone like me who hasn't played any, that might be, you know, that might pique my interest to pick it up, mm-hmm. you know? So. Brian, you played the original Castlevania, right? You were pretty. Or was it Castlevania well, 3 or 4? Um, or 2? Or 1? Or 5? Or X? No, it was, it was red and blue. Or <laughs> Castlevania ah, red yes. and blue? The classic <laughs> Castlevania red and blue. No, it, it was. um. I think one and two, because Simon's Quest was two, right? Yeah. And that was the one I was huge into. And it was either, it was either one and two or two and three, because I, I don't remember. The other one was was not so much, but it was I still really enjoyed it a lot. I played a lot of them. I played Castlevania '64. And there were two Castlevania games on the '64. There were two Castlevania games on the PlayStation Two. Or um, yeah. Uh, there was a Castlevania game on the 3DS that I played that was really good. I, it was, I mean, it wasn't amazing, but it was a good game. I don't know. A lot of good games, so I, they have a lot of different uh, options to choose from. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's just hope they tone down the Medusa heads in that game, because that's, uh, those Medusa heads were rage-inducing. <laughs> yep. I think the whole Castlevania. game was rage-inducing. That's right. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll <laughs> give you that. Yeah. So... But yeah, so hopefully these rumors uh, turn out to be true, and we'll get some new info. Yep. And now for some more announcements. Uh, well, you know, announcements about announcements. So Bethesda, arguably one of the better E3 presenters, will once again have a press conference at this year's Expo. Yesterday, Bethesda posted a save-the-date image on Twitter showing a ton of Bethesda game characters uh, staring at the night sky with a bunch of stars forming a BE3 hashtag. Bethesda will be holding the press conference mm. on Sunday, June 9th at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, the only bit of info that we got is that uh, we'll get a better look at Doom Eternal. Uh, but for those who are looking for something a little bit sooner, Nintendo has announced that they have yet another Nindy Showcase, where they are going to show off a bunch of upcoming indie games uh, that are in development for the Switch. The show will air tomorrow, March 20th, at 11 a.m. Central Time. Uh, maybe we'll get a release date for that Jerk Goose game, huh, Sherry? Oh, my gosh. I would be so excited. I am so <laughs> looking forward to that game. Because what better to be than a jerk goose? Like, that's know, right? just such a great concept for a game. I cannot wait to play that. When that I game know. comes out, I will stream. I promise you that. <laughs> it's Soon. Uh, Hashtag. <laughs> TM. Um, so, yeah. So, we're, we got some good stuff coming up. I mean, we, granted, we got to wait until June for Bethesda stuff. Which I, Brian, as uh, I'm sure I'm sure they'll announce more stuff coming out for Fallout 76. They'll probably start off with, uh, we're sorry. Uh, and then they'll <laughs> say, but here's what we got planned. But they could be um, coming out with a lot of information for that, uh, oh, man, Star something. I completely forgot. Star, what yes, the Starfall? Uh, uh, no Man's Sky version no. 2.0? No, no, it's it's they're basically, it's their space version of Skyrim. Yeah, I forgot what it was called. They very, very briefly talked about it. Yeah. So let's hope maybe that's what the people are thinking. People are thinking that's what they're going to show off because they're looking into the sky. The characters on this, uh, on this uh... day for day thing and the hashtag Bethesda E3 is in, is in the star stars. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I star, see what star, you did there. Starfield. Starfield. I smell Thank what you you're cooking. Yeah. Yeah, Starfield. So I'm also see. I'm also predicting a, a little bit more information on the newest Elder Scrolls game as well. Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe not a full blown trailer. That. Maybe maybe not like any a 
a bunch of information, but we'll we'll get another at least another teaser from them. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. It looks like we I, we'll be getting some good stuff because, like we said, we were pretty surprised by Bethesda's uh, E3 presentation last year. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah. So. And then Nintendo, on the other hand, it's going to be a half an hour worth of in, uh, worth of Nindies that they're showing off. That's a lot because they usually like blast through those pretty quickly. So, yeah, yeah it's um, I don't know. I hope we maybe that's where they'll announce Castle Crashers at the Nindie Showcase. Yeah, uh, maybe we'll get some more info on the Goose game. But yeah, we'll, we'll, Goose, <laughs> we better. Yeah. <laughs> since it's been pushed back so <laughs> cool all right I well thank it. you very much uh for that news kurt so um i'm sorry i i made an i was like i was a little frazzled today because there was a new there was a news um story that came in and i didn't know if i wanted to add it or not then i said i wasn't going to add it so now i've confirmed that this information is in so guess what time it is everybody you son of a is it MPD? Didn't we, did, didn't we just do this like a week ago? That's what I thought too. It no is, wonder he didn't want to. Oh, I'm time. out. I quit. I'm done. <laughs> it is time. I mean, to play. I don't. I don't have a headset to throw. I only have these little pods, and they won't. They won't do much. Throw the pods, then. I don't care. <laughs> Uh, oh. It's time once again for my favorite game, the NPD guessing game. That's right, folks. The uh, top ten video games for the month of February just dropped, and now it's Sherry. time for me to torture Sherry and Kurt and Brian by Brian's making them gonna go. win again, anyways. Let's just <laughs> Brian wins. We're done. <laughs> uh, so. Are you kidding? I have I I have. Although last last time it was a three way tie, wasn't it? For uh, quite close. a while, quite a while, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Brian. Just eked out a win. Just barely yeah, eked out a win. Yeah, he does. He does. He's undefeated because I only won technically that one time because he wasn't there. <laughs> so Brian is undefeated. <laughs> and, and, and I also stink at this. So <laughs> So to that point, oh, Kurt, wait, you're going to go first. But before we go, I'm going to drop a hint. Crap. Okay. Um, okay. Four of the games on this list are on here for the first time. Oh, that makes it even easier. Oh. All right. So, Kurt, balls in your court, man. Uh, I'll give you another hint. Fours is not on the list. Oh well, thanks. No problem. <laughs> that does actually work because I would have said the new four. Um. <laughs> uh boy, oh boy. I'm trying to think of what came out last month so I can at least get. Well, the new ones, maybe. I love this game. I love this game. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> Chicken Patty Wrangler. There you go. <laughs> that is a good game. You know what? I'm going to stick with my staple. I'm going to say GTA 5 and, and 8. Okay. Damn it, Kurt. <laughs> GTA 5 is not on the list this month. Wow. wow. It's actually number 13. I'm still going to stop. It's still top 15, there, yeah. so it's it's still up there. All right. Sherry? Call of Duty. Oh, should have said that. What? Okay. What Number play? five. All right. Two eight. Uh, I'll share the eight with you if you want. <laughs> no, I think it's still kind of up there. All right. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is on the list. It is not number five. Mm. All right, Brian, what's number one? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Since Brian's going, reading it off his computer. Yeah, right. I'm, going, I'm not even looking at my computer right now. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, off your phone. I'm, 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 literally, I'm literally playing with a little bit of Play-Doh that my kids had left. On their- <laughs> That's how exciting the NPD game is to you. You'd rather play with Play-Doh. <laughs> I, you know, what, honestly, in life, okay? honestly, I should start cracking it out right now. <laughs> um. No, I'm I'm gonna go with one that was that was on the list last last month, and I'm hoping that it's still up at number two, and that's Kingdom Hearts two. Oh, three, three, three. yeah, sorry, three. All Kingdom right, Hearts. well, Kingdom Hearts three is on the list, but it is not number two. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, that's it's probably no. I don't think it's number one. All right. 
Um. So. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Super Smash Brothers 8. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate number 8. So Super Smash Brothers is on the list. It is not number 8. Oh, but nice. hey, you got the game tied up though, Kurt. Yay! All right, Sherry. Um. What came out recently? Um, Devil May Cry. Mm. Number nine. Uh, Devil May Cry is not on the list. Damn. It's, it's also not number nine. I thought that would have been on there. Nope. Okay, well, I'm I'm going with with what I know that that is still on the list from from last month, and that's Resident Evil Two, and that's fallen to Kurt. I don't want to take your number eight, so I'm going to say number seven. Right. Do number eight. <laughs> it's number eight. <laughs> Probably is. It's number eight, right? Because <laughs> he does it every week. Yeah, I know. Every week he's like, nah, I don't we want to take number eight. That. I'll take number seven. I'm like, take number eight. <laughs> I can't. I can't take your number eight because then if I'm right, then you don't have any more guesses. <laughs> See, True. he's he's trying to throw you a bone, but he's still uh, exactly, wins. exactly. <laughs> um, it's like it's like when you play a game with a kid and you're like, oh, I'm just gonna throw my hand. <laughs> Resident Evil 2 is on the list, but it is not number 8. All right. What about number 7? Because that's what I said. What was number 1 last month? I can't even remember. He did say number 7, by the way. That's okay. I'll take number 8 this time. Okay. Because right. it, it, it was at number 8, so you still have a chance. Okay. Um... I don't even know. I have um, funny. A baseball game, number eight. <laughs> Oof, I just RBI. started, yeah. Baseball, no. No baseball games are on the list. Okay. Not yet, anyway, maybe. Not yet, anyway. Yeah. Next next month. Could be. All right, Sherry, what do you think? Uh, Red Dead Redemption. Okay. That's good. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Red Dead Redemption is on the list. It is not nice. number eight. Nice, yeah. Sherry. Sure, you got a point. A point. All right, Brian, point. you could pull ahead here, because right now Sherry and Brian are tied. Ooh. Brian's and we are it. getting ever closer to those four games. Oh, man. I can't even think about what came out. How about instead of car soccer, we have regular soccer? Uh, FIFA 19 or 20 or 19. Yeah, 19. So, okay. Yes. Well, FIFA 19 nor 20 are on the list. So Brian <laughs> finally misses one. Wow. Wow. Still got this tie. All right. So here's what happens now. If Kurt misses, Sherry misses and Brian misses again, then it's a, it's a, it's a tie. It's going to be a tie between <laughs> Sherry and Brian. Farm Simulator wow. 19. That was my yeah. next guess. <laughs> uh, all right, Kurt, you're up. You there you go, Bash. <laughs> Kurt, if you get if you get this right, you could actually pull out. You can actually at least tie, if not pull ahead. Yeah, I, I yeah, that's not gonna happen. Um, oh, what's left? The four new ones. Four new ones. And one. And one. And one old one. And one yeah. old one. Goat Simulator. I got I got nothing. Yeah, Goat Simulator. Um, Five. Yeah, I've got nothing. You got nothing? Okay. Nothing is on the list. <laughs> or nothing is not on the list. Or whatever. All right. So you, no points. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, Sherry. What do you Good think? Day. Um, God, I'm, what came out 
What came out? God. Uh... Note, to, note to self, don't surprise the team with NPD anymore. Give them time to prep. Oh my no, god! No, nothing, nothing memorable is coming out for I us. Know. That, that's what that's what our problem is. Like nothing's like, oh my god, we got to get this, or yeah, or we've like like ah, oh, this game is so this is ours. So yeah, I still like, don't even think we hit number one either. I don't know why, but I feel like Kingdom Hearts might not be one. I don't think we've hit one, two, but three. I we, we yeah. none of the numbers, did we, Mike? I say nothing. Got, um, yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. Macho. Uh, cause usually it's really easy to figure out what number one is, you know, and it just, we're not getting it this month. Um, okay. I'm just going to go out on a limb here. Uh, oh God, there's two games I want to say and I, Madden. Okay. Uh, uh what place? <laughs> Eighth. <laughs> Eighth. <laughs> okay, well, there's Ma- no way. Madden is not on the list. Yeah. So here we go. We're back down to a tie for the second month in a row. Taco Bell Simulator. Brian, if you guess the game, any game, you automatically win once again and continue your streak of 52 months in a row. <laughs> <laughs> so Brian, well, what's on the list? Okay, so I I, I was thinking. Last week, last month, if I'm not mistaken, there was a bunch of sports games that were on the list. Baseball was taken off. Sherry just took off football. I took off soccer. So that, that leaves basketball. NBA 2K19. Um, I don't know, number 10. All right. Well, once again, Brian <laughs> is the victor. <laughs> Wow. NBA 2K19 is That's on, on the there? list. Yep. Wow. But it was not number 10. It was number 8. See, so yeah. I was methodical on that one. I had, I had to I had to think about sports games. <laughs> oh. Once I said once I said FIFA, I was like I was like wait a minute, there was like four or five sports games last last And I was month. I was actually thinking about saying that too. NBA. Oh. Yeah. All right, so here's our top 10 uh games for February 2019. Number one, a little game called Anthem. And by the looks on your face, you (laughs) kind of... All right. We're like, okay, number two. Number two, another little game called Jump Force. That's that fighting game with all the anime characters. I've never even heard of Jump Force. Yep. Uh, Number three, Kingdom Hearts 3. Number four, Far Cry New Dawn. Oh, oh Far Cry. Right. Forgot about that. Uh, number five, Red Dead Redemption Two. Wow, that's at five. What did I so, What did I guess it at? Uh, I think you guessed eight? it. At, yeah. Eight. Yeah, people keep wow. saying eight, and every year, every Sorry. every month, you never get eight. Branch uh, out. <laughs> oh, someone wrong. Uh, number six was hold on a second resident evil 2 so first brian said number eight then he said number seven but it's actually number six <laughs> you're getting close <laughs> dancing around those numbers yeah yep. Yep. number six resident evil 2 number seven smash brothers ultimate okay uh number sure, eight you're close on that one yep <laughs> number eight metro exodus who? We were never going to guess that. I said there were new games. I've actually, I've actually heard things about that game. I heard, yeah. yeah. Uh, I heard it's game. I heard it's a game. I heard it's a game. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Number nine, NBA 2K19, and number ten, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Wow, Call of Duty dropped down. That's gonna drop off next month. Yeah. So those are our f- top ten for February. But look, hey, you got it out of the way. You can wait another four weeks and not have to worry about NPD. I quit. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm putting in my three week notice. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'll get you'll you'll get ten percent of whatever I pay you as your severance. There you go. <laughs> you guys get paid for this? <laughs> oh. Hey, you don't? <laughs> Uh, anyway, so moving on. Uh, so Brian, what games are coming out this week, buddy? 
Oh, if there's anything you do want to spend your paycheck on, maybe it's one of these. Um, yeah. S&K 40th Anniversary Collection. That's for the PS4. The Messenger. That's also for the PS4. Chocobo Mystery Dungeon? Cherry? Chocobo. What did you call me? <laughs> Chocobo. Chocobo that's Mystery it. Dungeon. That's what I said. Just didn't yeah. really sound like that. Right. Everybody for the PS4 and the Switch. Unravel 2 for the Switch. And Sir Curio? Securo? Yep. Securo. Shadows Die Twice for the PS4, Xbox One, and the PC. All right. So we got another slow week. We're getting a lot of slow weeks. But Sekiro, a lot of people are interested in this. That's that game for the that PlayStation or that PlayStation 4 game. I think that's the one that's kind of like uh, like Ninja Gaiden meets Dark Souls, where there's like there is the the nin- obviously the ninja and there's like those giant monsters that you're fighting against. We saw it. We saw a trailer for it during E3. Okay. The Messenger is supposed to be a really good game too. That's also like Ninja Gaiden as well, like old school, like 16-bit. And as the... oh, oh, that's that one that um, it's on PC, isn't it? Already, I, I, the Messenger. On, it's on the Switch. I I think it's on PC. I I think that's the game that I've seen uh, a bunch of people stream online on Twitch. And although it's something that I may not play personally, I really, really enjoyed watching the game. It was really cool. It does look like a throwback to something, you know. That's probably it then. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the game. And then uh, SNK 40th Anniversary Collection. Uh, that's got a lot of great games. It's got all three Akari Warriors on it. So to me, that's worth a purchase right there. Yeah. Yeah. And POW. It's got a lot of the classic uh, SNK arcade games. And POW is like an exact Rip off of Akari Warriors, but well, they're the same company, so mm. they're not. Tech- but no, Akari Warriors, you're moving up, but POW, you're moving sideways. Oh, you still that use makes the same a big difference. Well, in the arcade, you're still using the same controls, though. Yeah. Which is the rotates and rotatable joystick. That was always like I remember playing Akari Warriors for the NES. I loved it. My one of my when favorites. I played, too. When I played it in the arcade, I literally wanted to throw the arcade cabinet out the window. <laughs> I, it was so incredibly difficult because not only is it a joystick, but it's also like a, like a, I don't know, like a spinner. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like Smash TV almost. Yeah. So Like, like the joystick you, itself turns. It like, it's an eight-way yeah. shooting thing. Yep, mm. it's, it's eight-way but as you turn the joystick, that spins your guy, and then you have to move the guy oh, man. in the direction. So it, it was just incredibly hard to play. Yeah. So, yeah, not a whole lot of crazy stuff coming out, but uh, hopefully within the next few weeks we're going to hear something. I don't know. We need some good releases. Actually, no, we don't. No, because that allows me to get to my backlog. So, <laughs> All right, so that's our news, and that's, uh, that's everything coming out. So thank you very much, uh, Brian, and everybody for uh, joining in. Uh, so now it's time to get into our retrospective. So for those of you who don't know, the retrospective is the part of the Controller Throwers podcast where one of the podcast members is playing a retro game. Retro meaning, of course, the game has to be 15 years or older. That Controller Thrower's job is to research the game, to find out information about it, play it if they have an opportunity, live it, love it, come back and talk about it the next week. So this week we have Kurt, who's going to be talking about Toe Jam and Earl for the sake of Genesis. Yay! I'm you so excited can, for this. You can breathe now. Okay. <laughs> that was awesome, uh, by the way. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. That was pretty epic. Uh, I, I, okay. I, like how, I like how at the end you turned it into the 40 detective style. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> I slowly... Mike has to do that for the next podcast the entire time. I have to talk like a 1930s uh, <laughs> newspaper yes. reporter. There you go. <laughs> it's just in. <laughs> if we have to do NPD, then you got to do that. <laughs> right? All right, so Kurt, okay. tell us all so, about Toe Jam and Earl. I will. So Toe Jam and Earl is an action game. Uh, it was developed by Johnson Vostner Productions, uh, and it was published uh, by Sega for the Sega Genesis console in uh, 1991. So it basically centers around Toe Jam and Earl, hence the name Toe Jam and Earl. So uh, Toe Jam and Earl are alien rappers who had crash-landed on Earth. Okay, uh, as they 
attempt to escape the planet, players assume the role of either characters, either Toe Jam or Earl, and they try to collect pieces of their wrecked spaceship. Reminds me a lot of Pikmin. Uh, Toe Jam and Earl's design was heavily influenced by the role-playing video game Rogue, and it took such features as random generation of levels and items, uh, and it also references like parodies from the 1980s and 1990s urban culture. Uh, the cool thing about it is it's got a really funk soundtrack to it. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's basically a three quarter perspective in a 2d gaming world. So like the gameplay mechanics, um, it's, it's hard. I mean, you're, you're basically just like walking around, right? Picking up things. Um, it contains both single player and cooperative modes. Um, sorry, you. Switch screens, it threw me off for a second. Uh, <laughs> um, so it, it does uh, single player or two player cooperative modes, um, which the latter displays like, you know, like a split screen. So if you remember like the old school games where you'd have to put a piece of cardboard uh, there so one person could look at the top, the other person could look at the bottom yeah. or something like that, that's basically the way it was. Um, the game is set on Earth, which rep which is uh, randomly generated islands that kind of float in space. Um, so each layer um, is above, like, you know, your previous layer, and they're connected by, like, these elevators. The islands contain pieces of the spaceship wreckage, which a player must collect 10 to win the game. Uh, the character drops to an island below if he falls from an island's edge from above. Um, it... Each island is populated by, like, earthlings and stuff. Um, it's it's kind of weird. I, I, I briefly played it for, like, a hot minute. Um, and it kind of confused me a little bit, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> at first, I was like, what am I doing? Um, so it, it's really, like, not a violent game or anything like that. Um, it's more of an exploratory game. It you just have to kind of find your spaceships. So, or pieces of your spaceship. Uh, let's see. Outside of that, um, the, it, it basically was, uh, it received positive, uh, uh, remarks as far as the, by the critics and stuff. They praised the soundtrack. Uh, the, the soundtrack actually was pretty awesome. It, uh, it attained sleeper hit status despite its low initial sales, uh, as its protagonists were used as mascots by Sega. So, Toe Jam Mineral was followed by two sequels, Toe Jam Mineral uh, in Panic of Funktown and Toe Jam Mineral 3, Mission to Earth. Um, so, not only was it released on the Sega Genesis, but it was also uh, available for the Xbox, the original Xbox. Um, and then later on, it was also um, in 2000, or it was also released on Wii's Virtual Console uh, and the PlayStation Network and the Xbox Live Arcade. Now, what the hell? Um, Toad Jam and Earl. Uh, is going to have a fourth title released without Sega's involvement. It's going to be Toe Jam and Earl Back in the Groove, which was released on March 1st, 2019, with funds from Kickstarter. Yeah, and, I and actually Macaulay just Culkin. saw people streaming it, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Some right. Toe Jam and Earl Well, I'm sorry, when did it originally release? 91. 1991. Wow. Yeah. Where did the time go? I I, nice. I, I was watching what I, so we so those of you who are just listening to the show, whenever we do the retrospective, we play a video of the game while we're talking about it. And I was getting the YouTube video tuned up, and I had the sound on. And the moment it came on, I immediately recognized the music. I'm like, oh, yep. I remember this music. This is it. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, Toe Jam and yep. had an awesome soundtrack. It uh, did. You, you said you played it for a hot minute. How was it? You said it was kind of confusing. At first, at first it was confusing because it just kind of dumped you out there <laughs> and you're on yeah. the island. 
You know, you're like, okay, and you're just like walking around. So there, it's like I said before, it's not an aggressive game. It's one of those games where you just kind of like ex- is explore, I guess. Yeah. So and like, you when, have to like learn by doing. Yeah. Yeah. So like, if you get close, like there's a map, right? Like a mini map, if you will. And if you get close, like to the edge of an area that you haven't explored, it'll actually open up and generate a whole new like section for you to walk in. Um, you could jump from like one section to the next, but your jump isn't really that big, so you gotta be careful because yeah. you'll fall through. Yeah. But. So sure, you you said you had some experience with this game too, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I had it for the Sega. Um, I repurchased it for the um, on the Wii Virtual Console, so I still have it. And um, I've been playing this game on and off for I don't know, however many years, and I still don't know how the game works exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is I love it. <laughs> right. I mean, it's I know that you pick up items, but like sometimes when you, I guess also that you know the fact that like I'll play for a little while, and then I'll pick up the game again, like, a couple years later, you forget how to do things, you know, but, like, I know you pick up items in these boxes, and certain items do certain things, and certain things are random that happen, so it's kind of just a crapshoot when you use the items, and some of them are for certain things, I think, but I, that's what I mean when I say I don't know, <laughs> but I know the gist of the game. You're finding the spaceship pieces. I've never actually beat the game, but um, it's a lot of fun to play with two players. I think that's like the best way to play with the split screen action going on. And what's cool is that you can explore different areas of the game at the same time but then when your characters come closer to each other it actually just goes to a full screen and then you could see each other hanging out and then when you get too far again it splits off so like that was always pretty cool um and then um yeah i've never beat the game though that's huh. but uh there's so many characters in this game and like uh like dark mage in the chat he says oh no dancing that's just something that you remember from from playing this game because there's so many weird characters out trying to get you and some of them are dancing there's a mad scientist that like stabs you with a a syringe there's a lady or oh. something pushing a shopping cart you know there's and, the guy that's on the segway yes yeah or, you know, or, no, or was of, he pushing a shopping cart i don't know if it was there's a, shop- a shopping cart i know that for sure I thought um, there was, like, a guy on a Segway or something like that. Like, there's an old guy, like, an old fat I guy. don't think they had Segways in 91. Yeah, I was say, I think this game is huh. before Segways, but... I don't know, whatever it was. There's a yeah. guy in a carrot suit, you know, just walking around. It's just, it's so random and weird, and I think that's part of the whole charm of the game and why people like it, because it was so weird. There's and the sayings. Yeah. Like, yeah. all right, a buck. <laughs> yes. And the, and the music the again. Doofus. Like, like he just yeah. screams like doofus. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good oh. stuff. All right. Well, good. Well, thank you, Kurt. I appreciate that. So that is all about Toe Jam and Earl for the Sega Genesis. So uh, this means whose turn is it, Brian? It's your turn to spin that wheel, right? Uh, sure. Why not? So um, <laughs> sure. Why not? All right, let me <laughs> share my screen as long as it doesn't mess anything up. Yay, we see it. Um, okay. All right, so before we do this, I would like to point out uh, a very, 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 very special thank you to Twitter user at BoardNow23, who uh, suggested a game for us to add to our retrospective wheel. So... Uh, the game that, that Board Now 23 requested was uh, Legacy of Cain. Um, Blo- Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. The f- Legacy of Cain, the first one. It's a game that I haven't played. It came out on the PlayStation 1. It was a precursor to a game that Kurt had a while back, um, uh, Soul Reaver, Legacy of Cain mm-hmm. 2. So this will mm. be interesting to see the first one. So... Thank you very much, Board Now 23. Anyone who's listening, if you have a game that you want to see on the retrospective wheel, just send us a tweet. You can send us where, Kurt? 
uh, at TC Throwers. At TC Throwers. So just go ahead and just uh, throw our name on your tweet and let us know what game you want to see on our retrospective wheel. All right, Brian, your turn to spin. Does anyone have a prediction? I'm going to guess it's going to land on free pass. I'm not doing that again. I, I'm going to say 10-yard fight. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't again? know. Two in a row. Brian's going to win. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is everybody ready? Yeah. You ready, Brian? Spin it. Spin that wheel. Yay. Now everybody's going, yay. <laughs> and, and the wheel is spinning. And oh my God, there's there's people fainting. It's so great. People are fainting. <laughs> what? We need like wheel spinning music, dude. All right. <laughs> Somebody get on that. Oh no, Brian just disconnected. Oh, so he's not even. Oh, yeah, I, just, I, just, I just I just reconnected it. Okay. All right, here we go. The wheel's slowing down. That was a strong spin, Brian. That I was know. a strong spin. That's, that's what I knew. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, sorry. Ooh. This is this Brian, is my game. Yeah, Brian, you got a classic arcade game, Arkanoid. And it was also for councils too. So you get your choice on which one you wanna uh yeah. do research on. But yeah. Uh, oh, good choice. I can't wait to hear about Arkanoid. I would love to hear the ideas behind it and stuff like that. Yeah. You know what Arkanoid is, Brian? A game. Oh. GG. GG. <laughs> That's yeah. all I got. You got a good game, though. You got a really you good game. You do it, yeah. You, it is a good once game. you see Arkanoid, you'll be like, oh, Arkanoid. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And you've okay. been to the ghost and seen me play it. Yeah, you know what it's about. You've seen it, and I guarantee you've played it. it yeah, as soon, as soon as you actually see a video of it, you're going to be like, oh. Oh. Arkanoid. I just dime. actually. A dime. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> I, I, just, I, just, I just, I just, I see some images. Yes, I okay. I did. I have played this game before. All right. This actually, I, I am excited about this. This is gonna be fun. <gasps> you should stream it. Totally rage stream it. That would be awesome. It's not even a rage game. I, I actually, I think. <laughs> the game, Are you kidding me? <laughs> I think it's relaxing. You think Arkanoid is relaxing? Oh yeah, man. you're a better man than I. Different strokes for different folks, I man. Guess. Most games of that genre are. All yeah. you do is be doing this. Yeah, but not when there's like <laughs> seven of them boing. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah, but when there's oh, seven wait, of them. What was that again? Yeah, how was that? How was that working again? Which coincidentally is the same sound that the wheel makes when we spin it. Uh, oh. All right, somebody clip that. <laughs> <laughs> so we can rip the audio off, and every time, we, uh, every time we spin the wheel, we'll just have Mike doing that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right, so good. So thank you, Brian. Um, so let's get into what we've been playing. So let's start off with the usual question that I've been asking for the past couple of weeks that aggravates me every time I ask it. Who didn't play anything this week? Now I'm happy. Oh, here we go. Right. <laughs> um, I played Bathroom Simulator 2000. Oh, I, yeah. I heard that's a crappy game. <laughs> it is uh, crappy. I, 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 I couldn't resist. I, I couldn't resist. That, that's horrible. <laughs> but I couldn't resist. Yeah. No, I've been busy um, redoing the bathroom at home, so that's been taking up some of my free time right now. Um, and then I played, uh, Barista Simulator 3000, you know, during the daytime. And, uh, yeah, I just, I had, oh, no I'm games. sorry. All right. <laughs> Why is it that I finish my bathroom and you start yours? I don't know. Okay. So who played something? I did. I did. All right. Kurt, why don't you go first? Oh, okay. Um, I played a little bit of Toe Jam and Earl for a hot minute. <laughs> Uh, was confused, didn't know what I had to do except for find things. That's funny because that's the exact same experience I had with Superman 64 last week. <laughs> <laughs> I played it for a hot minute and I had no idea what to do. They just dropped me in. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I did that and I played some Minecraft. 
um, somebody that I am a moderator for uh, decided to open up a follower server. So I've been blessed with uh, being an operator for his server and basically banning and kicking people. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, you know, just, just you know, the north, the usual stuff, you know. I uh, I made some trees. Uh, nice. Or, or, or grew some trees, not make them. I, I grew them. <laughs> uh, I live in a mud hut. Nice. And, uh... Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, Brian. Yes, I um played more Red Dead Redemption two, mm-hmm. of course. Um, ran I actually ran out of things to collect. Is that possible? What? No, it's not because because then I remembered. Oh, there's cigarette cards, and I got to go and collect them. Oh. oh. Yeah, there's 144 of those things. That's a lot. Wow. wow. That is a lot. Yes. Yes. So, but I'm still working on them. Well, actually, I, I just started, but yeah, collecting, running around, collecting those, and literally riding all over the map for a for a stupid baseball card. Hmm. <laughs> Make but sure I've you also print that old checklist or something. Otherwise, you're gonna get lost. Oh, I got one. I, I I literally have my 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 cheat phone next to me, and I, I'm you know I'm I'm writing them down, and, and I'm crossing off the crossing off the list as I go. Um, what else have I done? Have I done any more of the? I haven't done any more of the challenges because I just can't. I just can't get. I, I I think I'm stuck on those. I mean, there's some of them that I can. I have to wait for the next part the next section to open. And then there's just some I can't do. I did uh, uh, get my next legendary animal. I got the, the legendary panther. Ooh, nice. No, wait, no, no. I take that back. I, I got that. I got the, I, I met the, I, I haven't, I haven't gone hunting for him, but I met the legendary bull gator. That was quite a fun mission, by the way. Ooh. Um, I made it to chapter five. And I will say this, the game just gets, the story just gets better and better. That was a loud meow. Yeah, it was. I was like, <laughs> yes. She agrees. Yeah. She agrees. I, I think that's what it was. She's like, yeah. I, I guess she <laughs> yeah. must be on that chapter too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool, Brian. What, did you play anything else? No. No, that was it. That was it. Yeah, I played Chapter Five on Friday when I was talking to Mike, and I was kind of like, oh, "Mike, yeah. I hate to be a jerk, but I like this. this it was just there, I it can was tell. It's, it's very story intense uh, at that at the part I was in. So I recommend getting through it, going and and getting to that part because amazing. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. So yeah, that's it. That's all I, I I wanted to play some. I was gonna play some Minecraft, but I got too into Red Dead. So that's okay. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I was talking to Brian on PlayStation uh, on on our PlayStation, and just like there was like periods of just pure silence. So I'm just like, you know what? I'll talk to you later. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, that's probably for the best. I, I I wasn't trying to be a jerk, but it's just like it, like I don't know how long it is, but it was it's like a, just a continuous. There's there's like there's like no break in the in the story. It's just nonstop for quite a while. Uh, all right, so I played some more Tetris 99. Oh yeah. As always, continuing uh my my run on that. I played some more Spelunky. Always a fun Ooh. game to jump into and just play for 20 minutes at a time. Uh, I played uh New Super Mario Brothers U. Still enjoying hmm. that. It's I it was worth the 40 bucks, I could say that. Yeah, okay. That I paid for it. Yep. Uh I played Super Smash TV. As yeah. part of the Retro Game Brews High Score Challenge, uh, and that was a lot of fun. That I, loved I playing enjoyed that. that stream. I, I threw a few tantrums too when I. Uh, <laughs> That's <laughs> what I enjoyed about the stream. My tantrums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but that, actually, it was really it was really fun to see you play that. Yeah, it was fun. I re- I like I said, that was one of my favorite. Super Nintendo games. One of the before when I didn't have a re, didn't have a job, 
and I bought the game with just money that I had saved up. I still have it, too, because I tore... I actually... I don't know why. I was bored one day, and I very carefully peeled off the label. So it's it's a, it's a Super Nintendo cart with no label on it. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me why. I was, like, 13 or 14 at the time. Um, but, yeah, Super Smash TV. I had a ton of fun playing that. You could check out the VOD over, over on twitch.tv slash Throwers. And then finally, I played the demo for Yoshi's Woolly World. Or, no, I'm sorry, Yoshi's Crafted World. Crafted World, for yeah. For the Twitch. Um, because I asked somebody else to, and they never got around to it, so. <laughs> you know, well, I don't get paid enough I, for this. I never said, I never said <laughs> you, but uh, the sign of a guilty conscience, I guess. Um, sure. No, nah, it's totally fine. That's fine. It, it's, it's, actually, it's a pretty fun game. Um, I heard it was boring. But I I found some enjoyment enjoyment in it. It was a very relaxing game, but it also incorporated some really cool mechanics. Like once you beat the level, you go back in and play the level with the camera flipped to the other side because it's a 2D game. And so then the camera spins around to the other side, and there's it's a different game because you're going back the other way, and it's from a different oh. perspective. And it's <laughs> cool because the levels look like they're all like crafted like they look like it looks like crafts but then when the camera flips around and you're doing the level the opposite direction you see behind these crafts and they're all like cereal boxes and you see like barcodes and stuff like that so it really looks, yeah it's, it's, wow. it's a pretty ingenious um art form for the for this game it's pretty cool yeah, yeah. so i uh i know my son really liked uh yoshi's woolly world so um, we'll probably end up picking that game up again. So. Okay. Yeah, it was um, it was a fun game. I I, I was very pleasantly surprised by it. Cool. I thought it was going to be dumb. I thought it was going to be boring, but it was it was pretty cool. Nice. Plus, it's got the poochies in it. Yeah, poochie. <laughs> that uh, was one of the amiibos that I wanted to get the the yarn poochie, but I never saw it anywhere. That thing is rare now. I think it's yeah. really hard to mm. find. Yeah. Uh, Play Pod in the chat. I've been playing Devil May Cry 5, streaming it actually, and the normal Rocket League and Smash. Nice. All right. I, I keep hearing good things about Devil May Cry 5 as well. So, so good, good, good. All right. So that just about does it for this week's episode of the Controller Throwers Podcast. Thank you everybody so much for watching and listening. We appreciate it. Be sure to check us out on the social medias. We are at facebook.com slash TC Throwers. You can find us on Twitter. We are at TC Throwers. That's at T as in Tom. C as in Charlie. Throwers as in? Throwing things. Throwing things. Throwing things. Yes. You can also send us an email, thecontrollerthrowers at gmail.com. You can find us uh, right here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash TC Throwers, where we air the podcast every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock Central Standard Time. And you can also check us out. I try to air on Thursdays. Um, and uh, Saturday night is the Perler show at eight o'clock as well. So we'd love to have you uh, love to have you by chatting with us. Um, you can also listen to the show on iTunes, Google Play, and at GamerHeadsPodcast.com, where we are proud to be members of the GamerHeads Network. So be sure to check out GamerHeads Podcast as well with Roger Blue, Christian, and myself, uh, where we talk about other gaming-related goodies. So until next week, everybody. Have some fun, play some games. We'll see you all next time. Good night. Bye. I never, Bye. Like, I would rather be a Bye. Be on a fake vacation. <laughs> okay. If you like video games, debates, and silly banter, you'll love Gamerhead's podcast. Outside of your store, because I do feel like your store knows its identity. I do. I think that you guys know what um, you are. No? Not always. Really? He sells fidget spinners. Well, not anymore. I mean, for a yeah, while. But not I mean, anymore. Not, not You're experimenting not, not with anymore. Our... That's what I'm saying, though. You were just experimenting. <laughs> Golf was made by a Japanese guy. Yeah. Yeah. Go Iwata. Yeah. Begin oh, it. the game. Yeah, not the okay. sport. Yeah. Okay. I was yeah. like, huh. Well, speaking of Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Follow Gamerheads on Podbean at gamerheadspodcast.podbean.com. What's up, everybody? I'm Tyler. I'm Lucas. And I'm Chris. And we're better than static. We meet up once a week and talk about movies, comics, and video games. I don't 
I don't want to talk about that. What? What? Why are you complaining about all the topics I bring up? I'm trying to sound professional, Chris. But we're not that good. We we are too good. We may not be great, but we are better than static. You guys can hit up iTunes, Podbean, Google Play, and YouTube to check us out. Hey, 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 it's Carrington from Real Dudes Podcast, and with me I have some fantastic co-hosts. Guys, why don't you introduce yourselves? This is Andrew, coming to you from Lynchburg, Ohio. This is Cody, coming from you also from Ohio. And this is Kyle, coming to you straight from the armpits of West Virginia. We are an indie gaming podcast. We all share a love for games. Um, and you can check out our show on Podbean. Uh, just search for Real Dudes Podcast. You can also find us on iTunes, uh, Google Play, um, it, really any of the podcasting outlets that you like to use. Again, that is Real Dudes Podcast. Uh, be sure to check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Uh, if you love video games, you will love our show. Have you ever been reading through a stack of comics and thought, hey, maybe I should see what the Sarkham Asylum game is all about? Or been playing Marvel vs. Capcom and felt like you were at a real disadvantage because you didn't know who half the characters were? Well, Play Comics is the show for you. I'm Chris, and each episode, I take a look at video games based on comic book properties and how well they stick to that source material. So, whether you know the comics and want to actually learn how these games work, or know the games and want to know what the hell is going on, Go check out Play Comics at playcomics.com, the Brain Trust Bros Network, or wherever you find your favorite podcasts.